Welcome to South Charlotte Sports Report. We are on with Zoom Live tonight, and I'm very excited to be joined by the seniors from Charlotte Christian High School softball team. Layla, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Very good. Tell me what position you play at Charlotte Christian. I play second base. And Mackenzie, what about you? I'm good. Um, I play pitcher and first. And Anna, how are you? I'm good. I play We're shortstop. Shortstop. All right, girls. We got that settled in. Now, you guys, uh, I think you were set for a pretty good season. Was that, is that right? Yes. I think you, so. felt, you felt good about where you were headed? Yes. And how many games did you get to play? Three. Only two. Oh, two. two. Oh, two. boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still pulling out that there's some way, shape, or form that we can get you back on the field for a few weeks. But uh, what made your team special this year? Layla? Um, you know, I think it was just that it was um, like a family. We had some returning players from last year, but we also had um, kind of a mix of um, an older and a younger team. I think we had about six um, returning players and six new players, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so, but we all meshed really well. We got along great. And, um, like I mentioned, it was just like a family. Um, even though, you know, when it comes game time, we were competitive and we were ready to win. And we kept that same mentality during practice. We still managed to have fun and um, really just enjoy each other's company while doing it, so. Mackenzie, would you agree with most of that? I have anything to add? Oh yeah, I totally agree. It definitely felt like a family. And we had all, we just got along really well and the two games that we did get to play, they were a lot of fun. Anna, how about you? Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Because last year we were we had no seniors, so we were a really young team. So it was kind of cool this year to have everyone pretty much fill out the team. And I just thought it was a lot of fun to get to know the girls. Looks like, from what I can tell, that even after you all leave, that Charlotte Christian softball is going to be in pretty good hands. A lot of young talent, isn't there? Yeah, I hope so. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about uh, what's going to happen next. What's going to happen in the fall? Where, where would I find each of you this fall, Layla? Um, I'll be attending Davidson College this wow. fall. Wow. Oh, that's very exciting. That is super exciting. Congratulations, because you don't go to Davidson unless you've been a fantastic student athlete. <laughs> Congratulations there. Mackenzie? Um, I'm going to East Carolina U's University. Which is an amazing, wonderful, greatest school in the whole wide world, because that's where I went to. Really? I'm very excited for you. Yes, it is a wonderful, wonderful place that uh, you're a pirate for life once you go there. So Yes, I'm excited. Great answer. Anna? I'm going to Wofford College. Right down in South Carolina, correct? Yes, sir. Spartanburg. Now, Anna, I know you're going to play softball there, right? Oh, no, no sir, I'm not. No. They don't okay. have a softball team. Okay, so all of y'all are essentially done with softball. Yes. <laughs> You okay with that? It's sad. It is. It is. Yeah. Especially having grown up with the game. Now you and say you've grown up with the game. Tell me about uh, your youth softball, some of the places you played and, and, and some of your favorite memories, Layla. Um, I think I primarily played with South Park Youth Association. Yep. Um, so it was a recreational league, um, but it was so much fun. And um, I really grew fundamentally there. That's where I learned the game. That's where I learned to love the game. And um, yeah, it prepared me well for playing at Charlotte Christian. Mackenzie, some of your favorite memories growing up playing softball? <laughs> um, I played for 10 years. And when I lived in Raleigh, my dad actually coached my team. So there was a lot of memories made there. Good and bad. <laughs> Good and bad, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, Anna? I've also been playing for 10 years, and so I played on, I've played recreational and like a little bit of travel, um, but it was just really fun to get to play with the girls for such a long time, and I'm still really close with them, so just yeah. being able to grow with them throughout the years. You'll always have those memories for sure. Um, what are some of your memories, not necessarily a softball, but, but, but what made Charlotte Christian so special for you as a student? Layla? Um, well, I actually transferred to Charlotte Christian my junior year, so unfortunately I haven't been there too long, but um, I'd have to say those first few weeks of my transfer really um, made Charlotte Christian so special to me, um, especially coming my junior year, being older. Um, I had a, a few reservations about um, 
you know, making friends, but everyone was so welcoming and it honestly felt like a family and a community um, from the get go. And so just that whole experience um, has made Charlotte Christian really special to me. Mackenzie, what's uh, Charlotte Christian School mean to you? Um, just going to Windy Gap all four years, that was just like, it was a great experience. And then going this year to Breckenridge, Colorado for a senior trip, that was just a ton of fun. And we made new friendships. Now, I've got it on good authority that that Windy Gap trip this year was just unbelievable, greatest ever, incredible speaker who really just connected yeah. and, and really lit the place up. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. It was one of our best speakers this year. Anna? Charlotte Christian? What's it just, mean? I think just being able to come in, because I also came as a freshman, and so being able, just the relationships that I've built with the teachers through that, and I also have a twin brother, so just being able to kind of transfer with him and us both kind of play our own sports and do that, it was really cool just to kind of be able to see how Charlotte Christian has helped grow my family together. Correct. Uh, let's have a little bit of fun. Layla, it's, uh, you got your buddies with you, you're going out to eat. Where are you going to go to? Ooh. Um... Gosh, I don't know. Um, and I'm like a foodie, so this should be You're the be a first question. person to never be able to answer that question. <laughs> I know. Um, I don't know. I might have to say, like, chopped off the top of my head. You're the first person to give that answer as well. Mackenzie. Chick-fil-A. That's a common answer. Hey, Anna? Any place sushi. I'm my new all about, favorite yeah. thing. I'm all about that. But, uh, all right, let me change that question just a little bit. We're ready to go out. We're not worried about how much it's going to cost. We're going to go to as nice of a place as you want to go to to eat. Where are we going to go? Ooh. I don't know. I, we just went to a restaurant before um, quarantine. My goodness, what was the name of it? Well, actually, does it have to be a Charlotte-based restaurant? For you, it does not have to be a Charlotte-based okay. restaurant. Um, so my family's originally from Chicago, so I'd have to say Giordano's to get some famous deep dish pizza. There so. you go. Mackenzie? Uh, I love Capitol Grill, so yeah. that's definitely it. Anna? I like Brick Tops. It has the best steaks. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that kind of answers part of my question the next question, but favorite thing to eat at home for dinner? I'd have to say my mom's macaroni and cheese. Okay. Mackenzie? My dad's steaks. He like does this really good seasoning on them and they're the best I've ever had. It's all about seasoning, isn't it? Yeah. Anna? I'd probably say my dad's chili. Chili. There That's we my go. My favorite. All right. Well, um, Let's talk a little bit more about uh, what you think you'll end up being five or six years from now. What do you see yourself doing, Layla? Um, so I will be, I uh, would have just graduated from college. Um, so I'm, as of right now, I'm looking to um, go into medicine. So hopefully I'll be in med school you'll, by then. Yeah. <laughs> you'll still be in school, yes. Mackenzie. <laughs> Um, I plan to major in exercise science and then go get my master's in occupational therapy. That'll be great. That's a wonderful program at East Carolina for that. Mm -hmm. Anna? I'm going to be majoring in accounting, so I'd like to get my master's too for that. That's fantastic. All right, between the three of you, which one is the biggest clown and jokester on the softball team? <laughs> anybody, anybody can answer. I don't even know. I don't know. I feel like we make fun of Layla the most. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not the jokester. They just choose to, <laughs> to land the jokes on you. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm the butt of the joke. <laughs> Who is the uh, coach's pet that's always trying to be on the coach's side? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know that anyone tries to be on the coach's side per se. Um, we just are. <laughs> 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 Who's the leader, the vocal leader? I don't know. I feel like we all lead in different ways. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. 
Who's the most studious? Layla. <laughs> yeah, that's probably an easy answer, isn't it? Uh, well, girls, anything that uh, you'd like to tell me that we haven't talked about with Charlotte Christian in softball? That uh, Any more thoughts come to mind that you would like to uh, share or, or, or talk about your coaches or, or anything like that? Great opportunity because they'll be watching after a while. I'd actually like to say thank you to Coach Hind because he, when I came freshman year, he just, he brought so much joy to me and really advanced my softball career. So I just want to thank him. Good, very good person. He's all, all of us, listen to me. He is always promoting both his travel players and his school players. And he does it as well as anyone in Charlotte. So it, uh, y'all should, that was a very good thank you. And I'm sure all three of you would say the same thing to him. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you to both of the coaches and how they've just encouraged and just helped and help us grow as players and as girls in the real world. So, absolutely. I second and third um, what both Anna and Mackenzie have said. Um, the coaches are phenomenal. They've helped me and I'm sure the rest of the team grow um, spiritually as athletes and um, they really help foster this sense of family and community on the team. We actually had a team Zoom Zoom call earlier this afternoon and it was just amazing. So yeah, I'd just like to say thank you. Well girls, I am pulling for you. I am praying that there'll be some sense of normalcy before you are all done with your high school career, whatever that normalcy may be, I do not know. I'm praying that there are some creative people that will find a way to allow you to put your softball uniforms back on a few more times. And then I'm just praying for you to um, be strong. It, it, this is not easy. This is challenging both for adults and, and kids to uh, keep from getting isolated and to, uh, to just stay positive. And I'm going to give you all three the same challenge that I've given just about everybody I've talked to over the last month. Tomorrow, I want you to go outside of your circle of friends, someone that's not in tight with you, find a way to text them or call them and check in on them. A little phone call will mean the world to someone and it does not have to be your best friend. So, so take care of one another. Okay. Absolutely. So, thank y'all for joining me. It uh, has been my pleasure for everyone watching. This has been South Charlotte sports report on zoom with the Charlotte Christian high school softball seniors and we'll be back again tomorrow night thank you all for joining and have a good night